Welcome to my Real Estate Insider episode two. In this episode, I'm going to go over what you can get for under $515,000 based on the most popular type of home. I'll also be showing you the sold prices compared to last month and last year for this popular type of home. If that's something you're interested in, then this video is for you. So have you been looking at average sold prices? Maybe somebody's mentioned benchmark pricing to you. It's all pretty confusing for the average consumer. I bet you all you really need to know is what you can get for your budget. So in this video, we're going to use a budget of 515000 for the most popular home type in Edmonton. And ultimately, we're going to answer that question, what can you get in Edmonton for under 515000 So if you're wondering what the most popular type of home in Edmonton is, it's a single family detached home, meaning it's not attached to another residence. It has a front attached garage and it is between 1,900 and 2,100 square feet. So being this specific about the type of home we're looking at is really going to help you understand what you need in your budget for your first home or your next home. So for those of you that don't know what a two-story home is, it is like these pictures here. And basically the main floor, you have your living room, your kitchen, dining area. Sometimes there's a den, sometimes there's laundry. And then on the second floor is where you find the bedrooms, sometimes laundry, and sometimes a bonus room. So before we get into what's available for $515,000, let us first establish the criteria we are going to be using when looking at homes on the market and what has sold. So this entire video is based on this criteria. So when we are talking about the homes, this just refer back to this criteria unless we change it later in the video. So the criteria is newer than 2010, two-story, detached single family home, which means it's just not attached to another residence. Sometimes new home sales people um, call a detached single family home with a garage that's detached, but in resale, a detached single family home is not attached to another home. Um, the next criteria is a double attached front garage between 1,900 and 2,100 square feet with a minimum three bedrooms and minimum two and a half bathrooms. So we're going way back to last year to see what homes with this criteria were selling for. And what I found out was last year they were selling for between $456,900 and $579,900. So this will be area dependent and the wear and tear on the house and whether it has a finished or unfinished basement is why you have such a big price range. But the median sold price for this criteria was $490,000. So last year you could get a home like this for under $515,000. In case you're wondering which communities these homes were in, I'm going to show you on the map right now. So as you can see, most of the homes were in the south, southwest, and only four in the north. So fast forward to May 2022, and the sold price for the same criteria was between $499,000 and $686,000. Huge range. And the median was $555,000. So if we're going based on the median price, just last month, it you would be hard pressed to get a home for like this for under 515,000. However, I did take a peek at what happened in April 2022 and the prices for May were a little bit better because in May, the median price for the same criteria was 570,000. Now, which part of the city were these homes located? Check out this map. As you can see, most of the homes are again located in the south and the west side of the city and just a couple in the north. Moving on to what's currently available for sale with the same criteria. There are 64 homes across Edmonton available for the same criteria, but I'm not sure you're going to like the price. First, let me show you where those homes are located. So they're all on the outside of the Anthony Hende, except for a few that are in the southeast and the north are located inside the Anthony Hende. So these 64 homes that are for sale range between 529,000 and 815,000. Now you might be thinking, oh, okay, 529,000, I should be able to get 14,000 off, no problem, and I can meet the top of my budget. Well, I got some bad news for you. 
I did check the sold to list ratio for 2022 so far, and it's 99% of list price. So the best discount you can get on this house, if there are no other offers, is probably about $5,200. If there's no way possible to improve your budget, the only other way is to change something about the criteria. So I'm going to do two changes to the criteria. I'm going to show you the effect of each change. Okay, so let's keep all of the criteria the same and just change the age of the home. So instead of it being a minimum 2010 build, we're going to look for homes between year 2000 and 2009. And what I found was that there was five homes available under 515,000 built between 2000 and 2009. And the lowest price under 515 with that same criteria with the new age was 450,000. Where are those homes located? On the map, you can see that there's only one in the south and there's four available in the north. Okay, so moving on to change number two. So let's bring the age back up to 2010. And now we're just gonna change the square footage. Maybe you don't want to have an older house and but you're fine with having a smaller house. So if we change the criteria to Instead of being from 1,900 to 2,100 square feet, we're going to look for 1,500 to 1,900 square feet. And we're looking for homes under 515,000. We have 16 options available in Edmonton, with the lowest one being 445,000. So where are those homes located? As you can see on the map, they are scattered um, along the south, southwest, and you have a few options in the north. It's spread pretty evenly. So this was a very specific example using very specific criteria, which is actually the most popular criteria. I think it's what most people ask me for when they first start looking for a home. But depending on your budget, there's a lot of different things that you can change about your criteria to get you into a home because there are homes available in Edmonton in the $300,000 range, in the $400,000 range. Just if you're looking for something newer like this with the, crit with the criteria that I mentioned, it's unlikely that you're gonna get something for less than 529 if it's the exact criteria. And if you change a couple of things and you're looking at maybe some things between 450 and 515,000, though that's gonna be a highly competitive market because as you could see, there's very little inventory. I wanted to also mention that the examples that I gave you, the numbers I pulled were all from MLS. So this is typically resale homes unless a new home builder has advertised on the MLS. But many of the new homes are being sold outside of the MLS as a private sale. So that data is not included here. Just looking at my clients' uh, home prices for the new homes that they bought last year and comparing to what's available this year for the exact same homes, for a new home, you're looking at a sixty to hundred thousand dollar increase from last year, far above the five hundred fifteen thousand dollar budget for this type of home. Did you find this information to be helpful? Is there a budget range or a type of home you would like the same information on? Let me know in the comments below or message me directly, and I'll do a video for you. In addition, if you have any specific questions about your buying or selling needs, reach out to me. I'm here to help you. I'm Jen McPhillamy with Remax River City. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on videos I post weekly. Thanks for watching. Bye.